guys, so today I'm filming the second edition of my uh, winter makeup looks. This is gonna be a makeup look focusing on um, Marc Jacobs as a brand. So at the same time it will be like a brand review and uh, you know me doing yet another makeup look. So I have three Marc Jacobs products. If you guys are interested in getting their products this video should be really helpful as you will get to see the application and me talking um, about these three particular products. I was sent these three products by a subscriber of mine from the US, so you know, I got a chance to try them out. Uh, but you can browse online and see, you know, where you could find them. So they come in these really nice pouches. They're not a velvet like your typical makeup pouches, but it's really nice if you are traveling. I mean, those velvet ones are useless because they get dust and they get dirty. But these ones are actually great because, as I said, you can uh, use them for traveling so that your makeup doesn't get scratched. So I have the infamous the Lolita palette. This one seems to be the most popular and the packaging is so sleek. In my opinion, it's very retro um, looking. Here you have all the shades. You open, you push this little button. And then it opens up like this, you have a really nice mirror and you have seven shades and they're all neutral. I, I'd say this color is like brulee from MAC, it's like a matte bone color. Then you have a color very similar to Wedge by MAC. Then this one is, again, these, these three are all matte colors. So it's great because you have a couple of different textures. This is... Um, like an espresso color. This one is a very shimmery gold color. This one is really pretty. It's iridescent pink. Um, kind of, yeah, like a pearlescent pink champagne color. It's like a shimmery um, muted gold color. And this one is a beautiful chocolate shade. It would make for an amazing Christmas gift if you're looking to buying something for a makeup lover. So I highly recommend this palette, it's amazing. The only thing I would say, the eyeshadows, that they're very pigmented, but they do have some fallout, it can be a bit messy. Then I have in another pouch like this, I have a blush, which is very cute, and it's in the color Reckless. You open it up like this and it has a protection. You can see that I've used it, it has like a ribbed um, pattern. I guess it's like a muted pink color, pearlescent pink. It kind of gives that plumpness to your skin, like a, I don't know how to describe it, because of its pearlescence, it gives that dewy, um, finished dewy sheen to your cheeks. And then um, the blush is great, and especially for this season, as it's kind of like a wintery color. And then I have this mascara, and look at this gorgeous packaging. I mean, it's like really huge mascara and uh, it's beautifully packaged. All the packaging is so sturdy and high quality. Um, this is how mascara looks like. It's your classic mascara wand. And I have to say I'm the least impressed by the mascara. I wouldn't buy it if I were to so I don't recommend it for you guys because I don't think it does much to your eyelashes at all. There are so many much better mascaras. This is... I, I was just like, blah, this is nothing special. The thing that I don't like about this mascara is that it doesn't grip your lashes. Like, you are trying to coat them, but it doesn't get your lashes. So it's like very hard to work with. It's not clumpy at all, but it just doesn't coat your lashes properly. Okay, so I'm gonna start the makeup look. I'm gonna apply my Gosh BB cream as per usual. I love this stuff you guys know and I'm pretty much out of it. My hands are so cold. I'm freezing in the house. Ugh, so um, It's not very pleasant to apply your makeup with icy cold hands. For my under eyes, I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer. This is not a corrector, it's concealer and uh, I'm also nearly out of it. I don't like it, to be 
totally honest with you. Look, it has a crazy good coverage. Like it will conceal any dark circles. It's amazing for dark cir circles, but it creases like hell. It's, it's very creamy. I'm gonna wear it anyways because I feel like I haven't um, shown to you guys in a video. Maybe I have, I don't remember. I wanted to swift away from my usual body shop concealer, which I like a lot. I'm gonna use my MAC concealer to cover any blemishes that I have. have some on my chin. Moving on to my eyebrows, I'm gonna use my Catrice eyebrow pencil, which I've been using a lot lately. It's a really nice eyebrow pencil. The color is Date with Ashton, which is a really clever name. Nice, it's an ashy color. You can probably hear the wind outside, it's so windy, it's just insane, it's like a storm outside. I don't even want to get out of the house, but I'll have to go to class. To set my brows, I'm gonna use Gosh um, Clear Eyebrow Gel, as per usual. I'm applying Too Faced Shadow Insurance make sure that my eyeshadow stay in place. So I don't really have an idea of what um, look I want to create. I'm just gonna do it on the spot. I'm gonna take this bone colored eyeshadow. It's also very similar to Bone by Bobbi Brown. I think it's like the same color slightly with a yellow undertone. Yeah, it's just like bone. So as a wash of color, this will be a good base for my eyeshadows. And I'm gonna take this color right here on a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna use it all over the eyelid. Again, just a nice wash of gold color, kind of bringing it outwards, just all over the eyelid, blending out like this. Then I'm gonna take this matte color right here on another brush and I'm gonna put it in the crease. like so so it gives so much warmth to the eyes very similar to wedge and then I'm taking the same color it's very um, messy underneath my eye on the lower lash line now it looks pretty intense and pretty crazy but I'm gonna take my fluffy brush again and blend the color. So I'll have this, and I'm going pretty high with this. I want it to be like a smoky look all over the lid. Nothing too precise. I don't like precise, harsh lines. I want everything to be like smoked out. I'm gonna curl my lashes. And I'm gonna apply it on the bottom lashes as well. As it's just 
not a very effective mascara it won't do much on my bottom lashes like you can see just when you pull it out of the tube you have a lot of mascara but mm, the effect is not so amazing okay now the eyes are done you guys might say oh this is so typical you didn't do anything new with your makeup but this is the point I don't wanna I want to look like myself I don't wanna create a makeup look that won't be wearable for me I want it to really suit my usual makeup then I'm gonna powder my face with my Hoshka powder I'm gonna apply the blush now to give some rosiness to my cheeks it just gives so much life to, to your skin I really enjoy this blush, the look of it and the texture. Okay, so the last step is the lips and I was thinking what lipstick should I go for. It took me a while to decide, but I'm gonna use this Dior Attic lipstick in 260 Rose de Jabie, which is oh, one of the li lipsticks I really love. It's so similar to the blush actually. So you can see it's like from the same um, color family and it's like a really natural uh, shimmery kind of rose color. This is the eyes, the face and the lips. So I really love how bright the eyes look because of this um, smokiness, I don't know, it just brightens your eyes, I feel like the whites of my eyes are even brighter and um, I think the makeup look is overall very wintry, the, the rosy colors, they're not like too pink and too harsh, they're like muted, dewy, wintry, rosy colors. I hope you guys like the look as well, let me know what you thought of it, whether you like it or not and definitely try out the um, Marc Jacobs palette, I highly recommend it and I do recommend the blush as well, it's it's great but the mascara, mm, there are better ones out there so yeah, hopefully you guys like this makeup look and uh, have a great day, I'll talk to you soon, bye Ну, мама, машина мажа своей, как снять, чем она сразу.